Immunohistochemistry is a technique which utilizes the idea of immunology that is antigen antibody interaction to study the structure of tissue by staining them. It was first introduced by Dr. Albert Koons in year 1941. Now, immunohistochemistry is used to study cell morphology and architecture, protein localization, cell division, and cell signaling. Now, let us understand how immunohistochemistry is performed in a laboratory setting. Now, immunohistochemistry is based on antigen antibody interaction. Now, to do an antigen antibody interaction, first we have to permeabilize the tissue cells, that is, increasing the permeability of the membranes of the cells in the tissue. And this is achieved by using detergents. In the step 2, we do blocking. Now, we have seen that whenever we do antigen antibody interaction, most of the times specific antigens bind to antibodies. But in many a situations, we see a lot of non specific binding that can give us erroneous results. To reduce that, we go for adding blocking agents, and blocking agents block or reduce the chances of non specific binding. And this is achieved by using serum from horse, lamb or goat. Now in step 3, we do primary antibody incubation. So in the sample, we add the primary antibody and we keep that for overnight. And in the night time, the primary antibody binds to the particular antigen. Now in the next morning, we remove the unbound antibodies by washing. Now in the step 3, we add the secondary antibody for incubation. Now secondary antibody again binds to the FC component of the primary antibody. Now this step 3 is performed in the dark because in most of the situations the secondary antibody contains a fluorescent molecule attached to it. And if we don't do it in the dark that can hamper the results. Now this secondary antibody can be either a fluorescent antibody attached molecule and in that case it is known as a fluorescence based detection. In other cases, the secondary antibody can be linked to an enzyme which changes a colorless substrate into a colorful product and in that situation it is known as a colorimetry detection. And in some other cases, the primary antibody itself can contain an enzyme or a fluorescent molecule. But conjugate antibodies are very costly and hence not performed regularly. Now all these antibodies that we are talking about are derived by means of hybridoma technology. If you want to know more about hybridoma technology, comment down below. I will make a separate video on that. Now, after keeping the secondary antibody for incubation, we wash and remove the unbound antibody again. Now, we mount the slide and visual ID is under fluorescence microscope. Now, by this method, we can see the immunohistochemical results of a particular tissue. Now, immunohistochemistry is particularly important while studying the different uh, receptor expressions in different cancer cells. So, cheers! Now you know what is immunohistochemistry.